Uh, my name is Dr. Enes Jabrini. I'm from California. My name is Clevis Soto, and uh, I'm from Albania. My name is Maytham Ali, from city of Kirkuk, Iraq. I am Dr. Uday Rashid, from Iraq. Before I came, I applied the synthetic bonds. Sometimes it works, sometimes not. So it was uh, not predictable so much. Of course, uh, synthetic augmentation, uh, bone augmentation, and it is not uh, enough for complete implantation. So I uh, research another kind of implant, bone augmentation. So it is natural, natural bone augmentation from the patient side. So it is the core technique. Uh, it's the best. I do some small procedures uh, regarding uh, bone augmentation using um, uh, allografts and also the xenografts. Prior to the course, so I'm currently a participant in the online course, uh, the horizontal augmentation portion. Uh, previously to this, I was doing, you know, some ridge split techniques uh, that could be considered autogenous. However, most of my cases were big GBR cases. Um, the reason for me pursuing this course was that I saw that there was a limitation. Um, I was getting a lot of cases referred to me and, and failed implants from other colleagues um, that the, the patient was told, you know, you have no other option for, for implant, implantation. Um, so I noticed that, you know, after attempting several GBRs, that yes, you can get some, you know, regeneration. However, the bone quality was not what I wanted. Um, so I learned about Dr. Sharif Kuchuk's uh, course and I started following him uh, online. And I realized that, you know, if you want to have good success and do the best thing for your patients, I think it's, you know, on our behalf that we should take this education seriously and, and try to, you know, progress to the point where we can harvest autogenous bone and give our patients the best success that, we, that they, they deserve. In most of our cases, uh, which are simple cases, we can deal without uh, bone augmentation since this kind of level. And of course that we have uh, some cases in which uh, the xenografts or allografts or sticky bone even uh, cannot be in our help without the help of the uh, autogenous bone and also without the help of this type of bone ma manipulation that uh, Dr. Sharif teaches us to do. I, I think it's going to be very profitable for my patients to achieve the results that I want from them. Yeah. Yes, there is many, many cases need bone augmentation, especially vertical and horizontal, because since the bone is not benefit for this uh, problem, uh, so, uh, Kuri technique, uh, it's a very benefit and efficient, efficient for this uh, vertical and horizontal defect, bone defect. Of course, it was a good method, and I was heard about it, and I was looking for a course that implanted in practice. Unfortunately, I found it, and uh, lucky to be here. And once I returned to my clinic, and first case that needed augmentation, for the first case, I will try it. Yes, I think from, from the first first day of the courses and even seeing some of the videos that were posted yeah. before I even joined the group, um, I could see some of the results and the quality of the bone that was being generated was far superior than, than what you can attain with, predictably at least. Sometimes, yes, you can use sticky bone. I do a lot of sticky bone and you okay. can regenerate with, you know, four wall defects, some good quality bone. However, when there's, you know, a large defect, you're very limited. Um, so my plan is to start incorporating these into the patients. I already have, you know, several patients that are waiting for me to come back and to, to start implementing these techniques with them because they, they, they have no other options, really. I am very inter interested in this course, uh, about one year or more than one year, and do many researches about the courses uh, that I benefited from, uh, from the course. Good uh, arrangement and good information for me, and uh, also I recommend for this course very, very much. One thing, uh, if, if you're thinking about bone augmentation and uh, if you think about heart cases, if you hear about this course, Sharif Kuchuk, Bone Factory, don't think twice because you'll be very satisfied. Um, so to describe this course overall, I would say the best word is comprehensive. Um, having taken the online portion, I finished maybe halfway through the online portion and then I had the chance, the privilege to come to Istanbul, take a little short vacation and also to implement these things hands-on. Um, the didactic law knowledge from online was excellent. Um, however, for me personally, I like to have a little bit of a um, hands-on component as well, just to feel the confidence to go back home and practice this in my own office. Uh, so I think that combining the online portion with the um, live training is, is something really, really special. And you, I, I leave here feeling really prepared and really to tackle these cases myself. If I want to describe this course in one word, Dr. Sharif in his presentation in the Instagram, he said it will be uh, wonderful, but uh, I will say it is more than wonderful. 
from all over the perspectives and parameters. It is a very well course, organization, the city, hotel, everything, nice city and everything. Uh, Dr. Sharif and his team are very cooperative and very talented. So I appreciate it.